Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing another card featuring the new Guac On stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen line. I hope you are not tired of this stamp set because I surely am not. I'm going to be creating my own custom sentiment once again and combining it with this Mondo OMG die set from the Essentials by Ellen line. When I saw the avocados, I thought immediately of a sentiment that says, oh my guac. <laughs> And so I'm going to be combining a printed image or a printed sentiment from my computer with a little bit of heat embossing from one of the stamps that's in the stamp set to create my finished sentiment strip here. So I've die cut the Mondo OMG from some craft cardstock. I've been kind of on a craft cardstock run lately. I, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm also going to die cut it three times from some Nina Solar White heavyweight cardstock. I wanted to build the layers up and kind of create a really dimensional um, background here using this OMG. So I am going to stack three of the heavyweight white cardstock die cuts up using some liquid adhesive. And I'm going to top those off with the craft cardstock. Now, I don't actually adhere the craft cardstock at this point because I wasn't convinced that I was gonna love the craft cardstock on top. And this allowed me to either color these or add a different colored die cut on top if I changed my mind later on. In the end, my instinct was right and the craft looks fabulous. So <laughs> we'll keep them in the frame there. And I'm going to work on my little avocado for my grouping. So I'm stamping the solid portion of the avocado and melon ice the outline in Lime Ricky, and the center portion in Over Coffee. And these are all Catherine Pooler inks. And then I stamped the face on my avocado using the Gina K Obsidian Amalgam ink. Now here is the sentiment strip that I created on my computer and I printed it out on some regular printer paper. And the only thing that's on here is a black box and some white letters that say, oh my. And I'm placing this into my trimmer and I'm trimming it down to where I have no white edge. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to the back of it and I'm going to adhere it to some black cardstock. That's going to give this sentiment strip some weight so that I can add it onto my card and not have it be all floppy. And then I took one of the sentiments from the stamp set and there's the word guac in it. I just trimmed that off. I stamped it in some Versamark ink onto the surface of this little sentiment strip that I have going on here. I added some white embossing powder and then I heat set that with my heat tool. And I did prep the surface of this little black strip with my powder tool before I stamped and heat embossed on it. Now I'm taking this over to my guillotine trimmer and I'm trimming this off so that I have a nice like little compact sentiment strip here. And in order to hide the white edge of the printer paper, I'm just taking my black Copic marker and I'm kind of tracing along the edges of this sentiment strip just to kind of make it look really nice and clean and make it look like it's just a black piece of cardstock instead of a printer paper stacked on top of black cardstock. Now here's where I finally committed to the craft cardstock on top of my white stacked up die cut cuts here. So I went ahead and adhered that on using some liquid adhesive. And then I have this rectangle that I die cut using the Essentials by Ellen Essential Rectangles. I placed it into my mini Misty so that I could really see the center line to put this M on. I put the M on first because it's in the center and then I'll put the G and the O on on either side so that I make sure I get everything spaced out really nicely. Now once I have the M on, I'm going to remove it from the Misty and I'm going to place it on my work surface and I'm going to use my T-square ruler to help me kind of align the other two letters and I'm just spacing them out. Now the O and the G are going to hang off of this rectangle panel just slightly. That doesn't bother me, but if you wanted to, you could kind of scoot them in a little more, but I thought they needed breathing room. So I didn't want them to get too close. And you can see, once again, my T-square ruler coming in handy so that I make sure all the bottoms of those letters are aligned. 
Now I stamped and die cut another avocado, the larger avocado, and I felt like this just needed a pop of pink because you know me, I like pink. <laughs> And so I stamped and die cut the heart from the Essentials by Ellen High Five stamp set. I use this stamp set a lot. It has the greatest speech bubble and this fabulous heart in it. And I use the stamps and dies on a lot of projects. And once I have that die cut, I'm going to adhere it onto the back of my smaller avocado using some liquid adhesive. And then I can start adhering all of my other pieces as well. So I have the larger avocado that I'm adhering kind of in the center of this O using some foam adhesive. Once I get him placed into the center of the O, he is cocked off to the side just a little bit. I'm going to add my Oh My Guac Sentiment Strip using some foam adhesive kind of tucked behind him. And then I will add my little grouping of the heart and the smaller avocado once again using some foam adhesive. <laughs> because I like big cards and I cannot lie. So, you know, you can always decrease the amount of dimension. But I tend to hand deliver a lot of cards or send them in a bubble mailer so the dimension doesn't bother me. Now I've also die cut some really beautiful kind of minty green cardstock using an Essentials by Ellen Essential Rectangle die. And I'm centering this panel right in the center there, once again using foam adhesive. And then I am actually going to use a tape runner this time. <laughs> to adhere this onto my top folding A2 landscape card base. So not portrait, but landscape. It's a wide card. I don't do these very often. So this card base was cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And that creates my top folding landscape A2 size card base. Now, because I just needed a little bit of sparkle and shine, I finished off these avocados using some Stardust Stickles. I have not used Stickles in the longest time, and I've rediscovered it. It's a great way to add some glitter. I added the Stickles to the seeds, and then I covered that using a layer of glossy accents. It gives it a lot of shine and some clear, glossy dimension. It looks fabulous when it's all dried. And that completes my card project for today using a customized sentiment. I think this card would be perfect for any, like, great news that you hear about someone. So you can send them a card like a congratulations type thing, like, oh my guac, I can't believe this happened or something like that. <laughs> I really love guacamole. I love avocados. And so um, this stamp set really has my heart and it's been so much fun to play with. As always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I will have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out and watching today. I'm so glad you're here. If you enjoyed this video and this project, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you won't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you shared it with a friend as well. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here. And until next time, I hope you have. A fabulous day.